I like Tom Glavinich. Uh, I think he really made us work hard and uh, really made us learn a lot. Uh, we had to do a lot of work for him, but it paid off in the end. All those tasks. I would have to say Ben Tom. Dr. Huber. Bob Coffee. That'd be a tie. Probably Professor Rumholz, Dr. Huber, and Professor Pattis. Uh, Dr. Colin us out the third because that guy has got the best command of the subject that I've ever seen and the most practical experience uh, he was in industry and he has the most uh, he's the most exuberant he really shows you that he wants to uh, wants you to learn it. Uh, Professor Roland. Um, Edward McBride. He helped us with anything and everything. Bent over backwards. But... Probably Perry Alexander. Dr. Tagavi, he's an aerospace engineer and he's so helpful in all of my classes. To tell you the truth, uh, the civil department has too many excellent professors to really choose one. Um, but I'd, I'd have to say uh, Dr. McBride is a real good professor. He finds students outside of class, goes to the library, and just finds students that need help with anything that they need. So. Dr. Hay, he's always open to questions outside of class time and He's a very passionate teacher and he's really good at what he does. That's going to be the AE 521 uh, aircraft design with Dr. Barrett. Mechanics or something along the lines of uh, computer analysis. Uh, chemical engineering design one. Uh, numerical analysis. Probably computer algorithms. It's actually our first design class. There were six reports required and just a lot of work all through the semester. Probably thermodynamics. Gosh, I'd have to say probably Dr. Barrett's 521 design class. Operating systems. I have to go with fluid mechanics. <laughs> Gotta go with fluid mechanics. That's, uh, yeah, not a good one. Yeah. Not good tests, yeah, not good homework. Bad experience. <laughs> uh, mechanics one from the physics department. Very tough one. Uh, airplane design. <laughs> Thermodynamics. <Analyze>. Fluid mechanics. <laughs> Yellow sub. The wheel pizza. Uh, Pepper jacks. Uh, grill. Well, the bird is pretty good. Uh, in my opinion, the bird union. <laughs> We're off Megabytes campus. in the engineering library because that's the only place I've ever eaten. Free graduate too. Best place to eat the underground at West Coast Hall. It's a good place. They have coffee, they have pizza, they got anything you want. Chick fil A, whatever. It's good. Chick fil A. Chick fil A would be my recommendation. I don't really know because I ate at E's like all the time. <laughs> Megabytes? Probably the Burge. It's not as crowded. And it's just as good. All the places on campus are great to eat at. Well, I had a lot of fun going to basketball games. Um, I also used to play in a band around town a little bit. Um, and I've also worked on the concrete canoe for the for American Society of Civil Engineers for the last couple of years. I had a lot of fun with that. Living in the scholarship halls. KU basketball games, Allen Fieldhouse. Socializing in the library. Spring break, senior year. I just have to say, hanging out with all my Arky friends and uh, going sledding down the hill when it was snowing outside. I'd say uh, hanging out with all my classmates my senior year uh, at various uh, social events. Probably going to the football and basketball games. Being around all the friends and being away from the parents. Probably either going to the basketball games or uh, sledding down the hill when it was uh, snowy. I would say studying abroad in England for a year. Try not to uh, procrastinate so much that you miss more than a couple days sleep. Keep the commitments that you make and join organizations that you love. Make sure you know what you want to do. Get to know as many people as you can because they will help you throughout this year. Uh, keep your options open. Um, let things let things happen as they come. Just uh, study hard and then it'll all turn out nice. Just get involved in everything that you can. Meet a lot of people. 
make a lot of friends. Be prepared to work hard. Uh, it will pay off in the end, though, all the hard work you put in. Do as many things as you can. I would say stock up your freshman year on uh, easy classes so you can make your senior year a little bit uh, less demanding. Don't work too hard. Always make time to have fun. You know, you're only here for so many years. Have fun. It goes by fast.